You may have heard the phrase before that life can seem rough at times, but would you still feel that way if you knew you had a cheat code? Today, I'm going to share with you how to find your personal manifestation cheat code. Hello, you are listening to the Manifest on Purpose show. I am your host, Kimberly. It's such an honor to be here with you today. Thank you for joining me. My whole purpose is to help you manifest on purpose. And I do that by inspiring you to become a conscious creator in your life. Thank you so much for all of the people that you have invited. Thank you for subscribing here and on the website at Kimberly, K-I-M-B-A-L-E-Y dot com. The God in me loves the God in you. Believe it or not, we all have a cheat code and I'm going to help you find yours today. Stick around. But before we get into that, we're going to hear our astro numerology forecast courtesy of astro numerologist Lloyd Strayhorn and the Astar 8 mobile numerology app. It is Wednesday, May the 1st. The sun is in Taurus. The moon is in Aquarius. It's a four universal month, a five universal week, a five universal day. Today has all the cosmic making of a wonderful start to a wonderful day, as well as a wonderful month. True to some degree, you may have to put in the work and effort, but at the same time, this start to a brand new month, therefore is likely to be the start of a brand new beginning, full of opportunities and possibilities. Those under the zodiac signs of Gemini, Virgo, and those born on the 5th, 14th, and 23rd of the month are likely to sense more than anyone else. Once again, that is your astro numerology forecast courtesy of astro numerologist Lloyd Strayhorn and the Astar 8 mobile numerology app. Thank you so much, Lloyd, for this because it's so helpful. You made me just remember that it is the 1st of May. Thank you so much. You can get the full benefit of this app by going to a star a a s t a r the number eight dot com you can also get it on the google play store the app store or at linktree forward slash numbers in you knowing others is intelligence knowing yourself is true wisdom lao tzu said that Truly getting to know yourself just can't be measured. Everyone should know themselves on a deeper level. Who are you and why do you do the things that you do? Why don't you like some of the things that you don't like? You can find all of those things out and more by getting your personal numerology chart done. You can get that at Kimberly, K-I-M-B-A-L-E-Y. And once you get to know yourself and get that true wisdom, go on to be intelligent. Get to know the people that are around you. Get to know the people that are closest in your life and the type of relationship that you share with them with the compatibility report. And this goes for all relationships that are close to you. You can even check out those co-workers that's been getting on your nerves to determine why they're getting on your nerves. Also, please don't slip on the yearly forecast and the forecast for your business. These are also very important forecasts. The yearly forecast will guide you throughout the rest of the year and your business report will help guide you in your business. This is great for 
hiring people, letting people go. This is also great for promotion and when you should make big changes in your business. Once again, you can find all of these reports at Kimberly, K-I-M-B-A-L-E-Y.com. Now, let's get into the show. Boy, oh boy, have I got a story for you today. Life was all fun and games for my younger brother, especially after the Nintendo gaming system was released in 1985. It was released during that year in America. However, Japan initially released it in 1983 under the name of the Family Computer. Did you know that until then there was only one other gaming system out? Yep, and that one was the Atari. While that game was popular because it was the only game of its time, the newly released Nintendo beat this gaming system by leaps and bounds. Even though both of these were pretty good gaming systems, but video gaming systems of that time could not compare to the advancement in video game systems now. The experience now feels more real compared to how they did then. However, during that time, the Nintendo had taken over the minds of children and adults too. My mom and my brother included. Wait a minute. I hope I'm pronouncing Nintendo correctly. My brother had this thing. He was a stickler about how people pronounced it. He made sure that they pronounced it correctly. You see, we stayed down south, as people would call it, or some even called it the country. Well, people where I grew up, are often known to make up their own words. Therefore, then trying to pronounce words like Nintendo was difficult. A lot of the elders and even my mom called it Nintendo. My brother would quickly correct it by telling us what the right pronunciation was. He would say, it's not Nintendo, it's Nintendo. Well, anyway, I guess I'm saying it right. You know, I don't know how my mom did it, but she finally got my brother this highly prized and priced game system of the time. To be honest, I think she made that sacrifice because she really wanted to play for herself. Her and my brother became masters of the action-packed games like the popular Street Fighter and Contra. I didn't like those games, but my brother would invite me to play every now and then, and I would come out of my regular cocoon and oblige him sometimes. I knew the only reason why he was playing with me is because he knew that he would always win anyway. I told him that too, because it was frustrating to me. And when I shared that frustration with him, he must have felt bad about it because he shared a secret with me. He pulled me to the side and then he whispered, I know a cheat code that will give you a hundred extra men. Now, let me explain this. A man is how many lives you got during the game. That's what we call them. Each life was considered a man. In other words, how many times you can lose before you had to start over from the beginning. Each game usually started out with five lives. So that would be five men. Anyway, still not quite sure why my brother was whispering. It sounded pretty urgent. So I said back to him, brother, you better give me that code. He said to me, follow the instructions using the remote control. Then he began to whisper again. He said, up, up, down, down, B-A, B-A, select, 
select star. And voila, just like that, he did it. And a hundred extra men replaced his five man limit. It took me a while to get it, but I finally got the right combination using the remote. I put in up, up, down, down, B, A, B, A, select, select, star. And after a few tries, finally, 100 extra men appeared for my character. And let's just say that game seemed to go on forever. I can't believe I still remember that code. The subconscious mind is so powerful. But even beyond that, in the back of my mind, I thought, This is what he's been doing every single time he played with me and never even told me the truth. He never told me he had a cheat code. But you know what? I decided to keep my mouth shut because that cheat code kept me in the game. Just so you know, you have a cheat code too. At the beginning of playing that game, I felt that it was impossible. And just like that game, I know that there's people out there that feel like manifestation is impossible too. I often cringe to hear people say they can't manifest. And I don't like to hear people say this because this is an absolutely false statement. One principle I want you to learn about manifestation is that you're always doing it. The whole point is, can you become the master of the game? Today, I'm going to help you find the cheat code in your own life to master manifestation. I had played the game of Condra quite a few times with my brother and never knew that there was a cheat code. He didn't mention that one even exists, but it didn't mean that one didn't exist. It was just that I wasn't aware of it. Within every person is the power to become the conscious creator in life. I like to place emphasis on the word conscious because this is what is required to discover your cheat code. Being conscious means to simply be aware. What should you be aware of? Well, if you have intentions on manifesting something in your life, one of the things you should be aware of is how things have manifested in your life so far. And before you even say anything, Everything in your life is a manifestation, so you should have no problems choosing one of those manifestations to analyze. My thoughts of the Nintendo had finally changed once I found out the cheat code. I started playing more often, at least until I got the unexpected news that I would be staying with my grandmother from then on out. And my grandmother didn't even know what a Nintendo was. In fact, you guessed it, she was one of the ones calling it Nintendo. I knew I couldn't mention that to my brother. He would be really disappointed about that. Oh, how I imagine myself playing that game, though. It was constantly on my mind And I even got a chance to play at my cousin's house every now and then. One day, I walked in the house and my grandmother surprised me. She announced loud and clear, I got you a Nintendo. I was so excited. I had grandma up in there playing. The fact of the matter is, Me playing that game for long periods created an intention. My visualizing it and my focus on it brought it into reality. I can look at those facts to determine that creative visualization worked well for me. 
I know that this may be a poor example of that, but what I am encouraging you to do is look at what you have manifested previously, whether good or bad, and analyze what you were doing in that time period to make that thing manifest. What mood were you in? What were you doing that aligned you with it? Did you use techniques? Which techniques work best for you? Everyone has a manifestation cheat code. With you, it may be a special practice. The thing is, once you find that cheat code, you'll always be in the game. It's your manifestation blueprint. Remember when I said it doesn't matter if the manifestation is good or bad? Well, here's how it works in the reverse. For me, television shows, especially certain shows, specifically violent ones, shifts my mood. Me watching them and seeing the mental image in my head afterwards triggers negative emotions. It's all about awareness. Once you determine what led you to manifest in the first place, you'll have the cheat code, which will tell you what to do to manifest your next big thing and what not to do to keep away those things that you don't want to attract. What is your manifestation cheat code? When you look back at some of the major things that you've accomplished in your life, what patterns do you see? What space were you in at that point in your life? How were you feeling during the manifestation process? Did you use any techniques? A manifestation is evidence. Use it to your advantage. Create a blueprint that can be replicated to get winning results. You can also analyze your manifestation to find cheat codes that will make you aware of potential stumbling blocks. Some of my best memories were created with my brother playing Contra on the Nintendo game system. It was a turning point in my life the day he leaned over to me and whispered, Up, up, down, down, B, A. B, A, select, select, start. After that point, I was always in the game. You can be too. Life can seem rough sometimes, but would you still feel that way if you had a cheat code? You do. We all do. Become an analyst of your manifestations and find the code that unlocks your wildest desires. I love you to life. This is how you manifest on purpose. (laughs) 